teachanolddognewtricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training, videos, and tutorials. Are you an old dog? Simply visit teachanolddognewtricks.com and learn some new tricks for free. Thank you. Hi ladies and gentlemen. In this tutorial we are going to talk about working with pictures particularly in Microsoft Word 2010 we're going to talk about resizing and cropping a picture. Now in my previous tutorial I had inserted a picture of Thomas Jefferson but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come down and I'm going to click on his picture and you're going to see that again we have on the corners we have some circles and on each side we have a little square. I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to resize it by grabbing the right hand square on the the square on the right hand side I should say. I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag it to the right. And you're going to see what happens is the picture becomes distorted. Well let me just give you a little bit of an insight into what pictures are made up of. Pictures are made up of pixels, little dots, and these dots have spaces between them. And different pictures have different resolutions, meaning the tightness of the pixels and when you take a picture and drag it what you're actually doing is taking the pixels and dragging it apart you're also sort of resizing it sort of like that funhouse effect when you look in that mirror that resizes you makes you wider makes you taller same effect what we're doing right now but in actuality it's actually taking those little dots and pulling them further apart hence you get some distortion when you're working with a picture you can easily take things and drag them wider but keep in mind you'll distort it but when you take them in the opposite direction and I'm gonna click on undo to get us back to where we are and move them in the other direction you'll bring them tighter together yes you can distort it but it actually brings those pixels tighter together so it might look more compact to you and again this is something you want to practice with at this point I'm gonna click on undo to get us back to where we are if you take this picture and you go to the corner and typically you go to the bottom right hand corner click and hold and drag out what it does is it takes this picture and as it makes it taller it makes it wider at the same time in other words it keeps it in the same proportion so that you're not distorting it now when I did this the picture looks okay but you're noticing it looks a little bit out of focus a little bit fuzzy and this is a good example of us dragging the pixels apart. On the bottom right hand side I'm going to zoom out I'm sorry I'm going to zoom in so you can see more of this picture more of the page and again I'm going to drag it to the bottom right and you'll notice the picture looks fine but if we looked at this a little bit closer up let me zoom in you'll see it's starting to look pixelated meaning that dots are being dragged apart hence it looks a little fuzzy it's not as good the quality is poor different pictures have different resolutions so you might get a picture that you can easily resize it doesn't look too bad but you get some like this when you resize it you're losing some of the quality so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and click on undo to do this one more time and I'm gonna come back to this picture and this time instead of resizing it I'm gonna crop it let's say for example that we decided that what we want to do is we want to focus on just his face maybe around his eyes his nose and his mouth well again I'm gonna come down to the bottom right hand side and I'm gonna pull this out so we can zoom in a little bit I'm gonna scroll up slightly and again I'm gonna go up on the format tab and click on that on the far right hand side we have what's called the crop tool the crop tool the first couple times you use it can be a little confusing to work with but I'm gonna click on the crop tool and as I bring my pointer down on the screen you're gonna notice that on each corner and on each side I have a little line if I bring my pointer over to one of these lines I get this little like sideways letter T again you gotta put it right on this line when I get it on the line if I click on hold I can drag in and I'm moving it in to sort of come in closer to his eyes his nose and his mouth again I'm gonna grab the left hand side I'm gonna drag in now I'm gonna go up to the top I'm gonna drag down and I'm isolating just his face when I'm done I can hit enter on the keyboard and what I'm gonna do is crop this picture down to his face so again I'm gonna hit enter or I could go up and click on the crop again up on the top right hand side so now I've 
taken this picture and I've broken it down to a smaller size. I'm going to drag it out by grabbing the bottom right hand corner and you can see how it's become very pixelated. So cropping and resizing a picture are good skills to know about because it allows you to manipulate the picture size wise. My name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day.